Today I'm in Coronado Island and in this video we're going to cover the top beaches in SoCal. Beaches that are great for families, for singles, for off-leash dogs, and beaches that are coveted by the world's best surfers. So if you want to sit back and catch some rays, sit around a bonfire, maybe go for a stroll, ride your bike, these beaches are going to be for you, so stay tuned. My name is Richard Soto, a local real estate broker right here in Southern California with VIP Realty. If you're new to the channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button as we do weekly videos talking all about living, working, and playing right here in the San Diego area. Today I'm at Coronado Island right next to the Hotel Dell, a hotel that my family and I frequent for Christmas on an occasion. It's an absolutely beautiful hotel. If you haven't visited, I definitely recommend that you do, especially during the Christmas time. So we're about to cover the top five beaches here in Southern California in no particular order. However, since we're here at the Hotel Dell, we might as well start with the Coronado Island Beach. Coronado Island, which is actually a peninsula, is accessible via the iconic or Coronado Bridge that transports you from downtown San Diego over San Diego Bay into one of the best beach towns in San Diego. Coronado Beach, home of the luxurious Hotel Del Coronado, is one of San Diego's most famous beaches, known for its sparkling golden sand due to the presence of mineral mica. The gorgeous sand plus beautiful Pacific Ocean waves earn Coronado Beach a consistent spot on the list of top beaches in the country. There are a few free public parking lots near Coronado Beach, but you will still want to arrive early if you want to get a good spot. I love visiting Coronado Island. I love the Dell. The beach is absolutely stunning. And as you drive across the coast, you're going to see some of the most beautiful homes you've ever seen with streets lined with palm trees. There's so many cafes, patios where you can sit down, have yourself a meal or a nice glass of wine before or after you partake in the ocean activities, which there are so many things to do right here at the beach. Okay, let's move on to the second beach. Once again, in no particular order, that is going to be La Jolla Cove. So if you're a fan of wildlife, you'll really enjoy visiting La Jolla Cove Beach. It's absolutely beautiful. And you'll see dozens and dozens of sea lions, different types of seabirds as well. So again, if you have kids like I do, they have a blast when I take my little one and his friends just messing around, checking out the sea lions. He really, really enjoys it. And I have a visitor, a little friend right here. What's that little girl? <laughs> so she would agree and concur that La Jolla Cove Beach is a great place to visit. The cliffs, caves, and underwater habitats around the cove are protected, making it an underwater oasis for sea life. If you're a fan of snorkeling or scuba diving, La Jolla Cove is the best place in San Diego to go. Now the beach is going to be extremely beautiful. That's why it's so popular. Once again, just like the rest of the beaches, if you want to get a parking spot and not drive around like a madman like I just did around Coronado Beach for about 30 minutes, make sure you arrive early so you don't have to walk so far. Moving on to the third beach and situated right between La Jolla Beach and Mission Beach is going to be Pacific Beach. Also commonly referred to as the Strand, Pacific Beach features more than two miles of coastline and is especially loved as a family oriented beach hotspot. It does not attract large crowds, but it's still good for kids. There are lots of nearby rental shops where you can rent scuba diving equipment, bikes, and more. So it's a great place to take the family. You can rent a bike or do what I do. I bring my bands, the resistant bands. I put them around the waist of my little nine-year-old and I make him do sprints for about 30 minutes. So when we get home, he is ready to retire and go to bed early so I get some rest and get some additional work done. However, it's a great place for the family to enjoy. What a beautiful day in sunny San Diego. Before we move on to our fourth beach, I'm about to go to one of the restaurants right here at the Dell, grab myself a margarita, maybe two. My voice is kind of parched, so I need to take a little break, guys, and then we'll commence with the fourth beach right here in Southern California.
I don't know if you can see that behind me, but it is stunning. Being here at the beach never gets old. The views are absolutely jaw-dropping. It's amazing. Was able to see the sunset earlier. Oh, what a glorious day right here in San Diego. Moving on to the fourth beach, and that's going to be Ocean Beach, which is the perfect place for recreation, relaxation, and surfing. So if you want to relax, that's going to be an ideal beach to go to. There's also free volleyball courts as well, or available for public use just north of the main beach is the Ocean Beach Dog Beach, one of the few places where furry friends can run free on the sand. Head a few blocks south to the Ocean Beach Pier for a great sunset spot and underneath, which is a favorite surf spot. Okay, moving on to the fifth beach. And again, guys, in no particular order. And obviously there's numerous more beaches in Southern California. However, we're just covering some of the most popular ones in SoCal. If you want to see some of the most beautiful San Diego Bluff views, head over to Flat Rock Beach. It's white sand combined with amazing views make it a great place to relax. You'll need to hike quite a bit to get there. So keep that in mind before you decide to visit Flat Rock Beach. You can get here by walking north from Black's Beach, by using the Broken Hill Trail and Beach Trail, or by heading south from Torrey Pines South Beach. If you have it in you, you can even climb up the large rock at the beach to see even more stunning views of the ocean. Just finished watching the beautiful sunset right behind me. Oh my goodness. It's never a bad day when you're at the ocean, enjoying the cool ocean breeze, seeing the kids running around, having a good time laughing and playing. What a great day today that I've had. Any day that I'm able to spend some time at the beach, I always enjoy it. I haven't learned how to surf just yet. I might not ever attempt to even try to surf. I don't know. I have a couple of friends that are trying to talk me into it. We'll see what happens. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're thinking about moving to Southern California, Los Angeles, San Francisco, throughout the state, my team and I at VIP Realty would love to assist you with your next real estate transaction. And as always, I'll see you on the next video.